Ladies and gentlemen, another weekend, another step of the Trackmania Grand League. This one is pretty particular. The final corner before the home stretch. This is step number five out of the six steps that we're gonna have to play, and goes one step closer to determine which of the eight of the 16 players will get to qualify for the playoffs of the Trackmania Grand League happening at the Lyon Esports on February the 28th, 2020. Hello everybody, I'm Thomas Mengozi, aka G Geek, and I will be your host tonight as we're gonna be casting step five of the trackmania grand league and cheer tween on as he seeks to get to that top eight and get and make himself part of the players that will take part in the grand league playoffs at lyon so we've seen a pretty interesting step four actually with the first time that we haven't seen carl jr uh actually win if i'm not mistaken uh, carl jr having only collected two points in step four uh despite have well and still remaining comfortably in the lead of the overall ranking in because of the incredible point tally that he has already accumulated and we'll get to that in a bit but for those of you who just joined the stream who do not know what the grand league is let me give you the lowdown on this competition the premier competition in trackmania stadium 16 players duke it out for the title of trackmania grand league champion and we're going to be uh, casting step five of the regular season which consists of six steps played over six weeks at the end of the six weeks the top eight of the regular season will qualify for the playoffs happening at the lyon esports 2020 in lyon france Whereas the bottom eight will have to duke it out against the top eight of the Open Grand League in the combined match in order to secure their spot in the next summer Trackmania Grand League season. Here's the format that we're going to be talking about in today's match. So the format is Champions Mode. Six maps are played with six laps played per map. The first three maps, so maps one, two, and three are get out of jail free cards. That's what I like to call them because the top 16 scores every time and nobody gets punished. But maps 4, 5, and 6 is where the money time happens, where everything happens. Players outside of the top 8 at the finish of one of these specific maps will lose all points that they've, all the points they have gained in the previous maps and only score the points for their placements in that peculiar map. So, with that out of the way, let's actually check the rank, overall rankings after step number 4. Call Jr. remaining in the league with 193 points despite having a paltry 2 points collected uh, to his credits on step number 4. The Canadian player from Team Solary unfortunately has some connection issues and might not be able to take part in today's running. Riolu, the, you, the German streamer from the German player and streamer from Team Nordevent in Norway, is in second place with 156 points. Papu, third place in is with 142 points, completes the podium. The first first of four Frenchmen in the Grand League. Fourth place is for the beta season champion Kappa for Team Veloci Esports. Currently sitting with a 91 point tally in fourth place. Then in fifth place, we've got Scrappy, former member of Team Existence, who has been who has parted ways with them since step two, and he sits currently one point behind, one behind Kappa in fifth place with 90 points. Sixth place is for Team uh, Diffuse Kids and their Dutch driver Spam, currently sitting with 76 points after collecting 58 valuable points for uh, in step four and having broke his duck of good point scoring. 7th place is Aurel from Team Gaming Brive.com. The Frenchman sits currently with 67 points. And our man Tween currently sitting right on the edge of the top 8, right at the hot seat. 8th place is for him right now with 62 points to his credit and 19 points collected over the course of step number 4. One of the biggest progressions in the, uh, in the ranking so far has been Bren as well. In step 4 he collected 47 valuable points to add to his tally and he is now sitting with 57 points in 9th place. And he's a direct threat to Tween's 8th place. And just behind, we got Pack from Team Marsh Molotovs and Marshmallows sitting in 10th place with 43 points. One point behind me, we find Matt from Space Station Gaming, 11th place with 42 points. Massa from Team Berlin International Gaming. The German driver has not had a good series of steps last, uh, last few weeks, and he's currently paying the price with 12th place and 34 points to his credit. Coco from Team Oserve, Surf currently sitting in 13th place with 30 points. Then we got Revolution. The second uh, Orgless player, this time player hailing for all the way from Germany, sitting with four, in 14th place with 27 points. Then we got Marcin from Team Devils 1 with 24 points, who might still have uh, some connection issues, just like Carl Jr. and might actually not take part in this step. And finally, rounding up the field, we've got Rolin sitting in last place, and who has the rather unenvious title of being the only player uh, that actually is only sitting on a single-digit score with 9 points. Yes, SRK, I did note that the title hasn't been updated, but I do not have the control over that. I'm only an external uh, an external man. I would be lovely if someone of the admins could actually come in and change the title. Unfortunately, I can't, but we're going to have to live with it. Anyways, after this particular look at the ranking, let's take a look at the map that are going to be played 
for tonight. So map number one is going to be Contest Diving. The first three maps are the same last three maps as step four in reverse order. So Contest Diving will be our kicker. It, was, it used to be the guillotine of points and now it kind of has become a get out of jail free card. This is a map that is characterized by a long grass slide U-turn that is surrounded by water that is really, really tricky to get. A single mistake in the jumping distance or even in attacking the, even in the moment of initiating the grass slide, it potentially warrant a guaranteed respawn and cost you th the best part of three seconds with each respawn. Then in second map, we're going to be, be uh, looking at Just Skidding, a map that is characterized by Dirt Identity that is the first one uh, in the whole of the Trackman and Grand League Winter Packs to use the Lead Foot Block. What is the Lead Foot Block? I'm going to go delve into a little bit later once we get into the map. Then map number three will be Wave Breaker, the, the opening uh, map of the new map pack for Step 4 at the time. And it is consisting of those series of jumps. Uh, it's kind of you know, it's like riding waves, hence the name Wave Breaker. Then we get into the three new maps for this step. Free Spirits by Link is map number four. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be one of those identities that is widely regarded relatively easy compared to the rest of the other maps. The next one is gonna be the real killer. Map five is Zeppelin by MD Point, a particular identity that will remind you of certain map styles if you're initiated to the track media in a scene. And then finally, map six is gonna be Starcase, a map that does have a pretty peculiar identity as well, and we're gonna delve into that a little bit later. So then, that's a lot of information to take in. I hope that you guys are still with us. I hope that you guys are still following me. We're T minus 10 minutes before the start of the step. I and mean, I think we're going to be jumping into the show right now. Oh, sorry, that's the slideshow. Hey, we're switching scenes. And there we go. You can see all the graphics are, things are in there. So, in terms of players that are there, we only have 14 out of 16. It turns as though Marcin still has a few connection issues uh, as of... Um, as of right now and is not able to make it into the server as we speak uh, but he will uh, but uh, we'll keep you on the on the matter if he manages to reconnect at any point so we got also got Carl who has had a connection issue has had connection issues uh, he had pointed out and uh, that's probably gonna be out for him and he also said that's uh, he also said that uh, he could potential uh, he will be away next week so that could potentially be an early end to his season he took he took to Twitter to announce that announce the news and the rather sad news for most people out there and they're not limited to the solary uh, and lunary um, outfits. So anyway, let me just close that real quick. Just close the browser. There we go. So, Turbo and Marius. Yeah, but those are only the casters. <laughs> Caster for revolution, if I'm not mistaken, for um, Marius. Anyways, let's take a look at the actual players. So we're going to have a 14 player roster out of the 16 that are entered in the Grand League. First of all, we got Kappa from Team Veloci Esports, which is the beta season champion. He won the beta season in 2019 that took with the final taking place at Paris Games Week in Paris. Then he also won the he's also won the um, uh, Trackmania World Championship in 2018. He won. Uh, he's really one of the most accomplished players of recent times, especially in tech. Then we got Papu from Team Gamers Origin, the Frenchman. A renowned dirt player in himself, uh, dirt player himself, having won multiple editions of the Gamers Assembly Dirt. Then we got Riolu, Mr. Streamer himself, from Team Nordvent, uh, mostly known for his cameo achievements at the beginning of the Trackmania scene, but then having switched to Stadium, especially having uh, found quite a bit of love, especially in the dirt, uh, dirt heavy maps. We'll, th we'll probably look to see if he can score decent, score some big points to secure even further his second place in the rankings and potentially overtake Carl Jr. now that we know that Carl will not be taking part in this step. Revolution the tune is currently sitting in fourth place. The Revolution's not have had a have not had a great time in the rankings uh, in the, the Grand League, sitting in the thing in the bottom eight and potentially at jeopardy of of disputing the combined match in order to save his place. Then we got Belgian player Scrappy, who has had pretty good steps uh, in steps three, uh, if I recall correctly. And uh, if we, if I take a look back at the at the rankings, there we go. He currently sits in fifth with 90 points. Not really in the danger zone yet, but still, he needs to perform really well in order to be able to secure all of these points. Then, in then we find Bren, player from Team Lunary, the French player currently sitting in Australia has yeah, as he is making his studies there and currently sitting in ninth place with 57 points and the best direct threat to tween uh, in the overall ranking to potentially steal him the top eight as we're going into the map switch right now let's see who we got we got spam from team diffuse kids ESWC 2012 track champion and uh, having organized also a quite variety of um, 
of events, most notably the spam endurance race, but unfortunately cannot actually be um, resumed uh, because of a few issues with Trackmania, but that's an entirely different story altogether. Then we got find our man Tween, currently sitting in 8th place with 62 points. He actually took to Twitter and, and, hoped that he, and said that he hoped this would be the step that would lift him up into the leaderboard and secure him a spot in Lyon for the playoffs. We'll see if that is the case. Anyways, we're, we're going to be 100% behind him. Go Tween, go Tween, go Tween. That's all I had to say. Then we find player Massa from Berlin International Gaming, the German driver. As I said, not having had a particularly good time in steps number three and four, only sitting with 34 points to his credit in 12th place. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I'm, I'm, also, uh, I'm always uh, checking the right ranking, like not to say, to avoid saying complete garbage. But yeah, he's not had the best amount of times, and he needs to step back up big time in the last two steps in order to actually get back into the top eight and go to the playoffs. Then we find Pack from. Um, um, from uh, the UK, sorry, he switched his UK skin because, yeah, but I was uh, taking the team name. It is Molotovs and Marshmallows, sorry for the uh, rather dry throat and the multiple, um, and sorry for the multiple heavy breathings. It's kind of like my first time switching, a, uh, casting of the Trackmania Grand League as a whole. There might be a few hiccups in the casting, there might be a few hiccups in my voice. Bear with me here, guys. So, Pac currently sitting in 11th place with 34, with 33 points, 32, 42 points to his account, sorry. And uh, it seems as though he's currently looking as an outsider uh, option, and he's not really looking towards uh, making it to the Leon playoffs as we speak right now. Then we got Coco from Team Osa, currently sitting in 13th place with 30 points. He does not have his skin available. Apparently, it didn't actually, uh, apparently it isn't actually uh, downloaded on my side, so that's going to be it for me. Then we got Orel from Team Gaming Privet.com, who has actually uh, held a good amount of points the last few steps and currently sits in P7, 5 points in front of Tween with 67 points. This is going to be one of those people that could potentially be threatened by Bren, who's currently, as I said, 5 points behind Tween and only 10 points as a result behind Orel, so that will be interesting to see. Then we got Roland, uh, Roland not having a great time in the Grand League and currently the player with the unenvious owner of being the only player to have a single digit score with nine points in last place. Let's actually hope he manages to turn things around this time in this step. And finally, closing up, we got the player roster for tonight. We've got Matt from Space Station Gaming. The Brazilian driver is currently sitting in 11th place with 42 points, back in his 10th with 43 points, uh, pardon my mistake. And he's currently the only player outside of Europe to actually, to actually play in the Grand League. We're T minus two minutes from the start of the step. Who is excited? I know I am. Go tween. Go spam go tweens in chat in order to give him a heart. It seems as though we already got one in the ranking here in the top eight. You can see that um well, actually yeah not uh, nicely corrected. Sorry I got a bit of uh, a little bit ahead of myself here. I was you know, I was referring to the playing roster right now and not to the overall ranking. It is true that Carl is with Matt uh he's with Matt one of the only players outside of Europe playing in the Grand League. Sorry for my mistake. Go cool, Marius 89. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to see. Uh, I think we're gonna have to see uh, Marius switch to spec in a few seconds, since he is currently casting for uh, Roland. Uh, currently casting for Revolution, I think. A Revolution and Turbo for Pack. Uh, th thanks for the precision, Zastri. So, anyways, we're gonna delve into the maps as we get into them into the warm up. So we're gonna be. Uh, getting started in a few minutes in, uh, in the best in uh, I think less than two minutes now Really sorry for the <laughs> shaky cast guys. I'm really doing my best. This is my first time casting the Grand League I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do As I'm preparing my notes here, here we go We got everything that we need and we should be able to be Getting started in the, around 50 seconds so T minus 50 seconds before the map restart, and we were going to be starting with Wave Breaker. As I said, this is a map that is characterized with an identity with uh, which is uh, which consists of three consecutive dirt jumps that kind of look like a wave, and that do look like a wave, with a specific clearing speed. I'm going to delve into that in just a little bit. No, it's not Wave Breaker. It's Contest Diving. Wave Breaker was map four, and uh, thus is map three. Yeah, I'll try to calm down a bit, chat. <laughs> I know I'm I'm a bit of a fast talker. I'll try to rein that in as much as possible. I can't promise everything can actually good and can actually go good though. So, be speedy, Tween. <laughs> That's all I can say. We already got three hearts on Tween, by the way. Good job, guys. Don't forget.
go tween and chat to, to cheer him on and give him a little heart to show your support in the Grand League as we're about to get started. It is 8 p.m. CET, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're about to see the um, match uh, getting started, I think, as we're uh, witnessing saying that uh, SoftDB, the organizer of uh, the Grand League, has left the server. We should be expecting a restart in any minute now. So here is the league ranking so far. So Carl Jr., unfortunately, not able to take part this time around due to a connection issue. First place with 193 points, but he will not give his first place for long as we will be able to see potentially a lead change as of step number five. Rio lose second place with 156. Papu completes the podium so far with 142. Then we find Kappa, fourth place with 91 points. One point in front of Scrappy in fifth place with 90. Then we got Spam, sixth with 76 points. Aurel in seventh place with 67 points. And Queen completes the top eight so far with 62 points. But as you can see, Bren is just five points behind. He's just five points behind Twin and 10 points behind Aurel. So everything could still change. And before we head into the final stretch in step number six, which is going to happen next week. Okay, we got Papu connecting now. It seems as though we had a few play problems with players being uh, disconnected and uh, currently reconnecting. We also see that Marius has reconnected in the spectator zone. So we should be... There we go. Match starting. You see it on the top left corner of your screen. We're about to get started with map step number five of the Trackmania Grand League. And we're going to be starting off with Wavebreaker. And uh, with not Wavebreaker, Contest Diving. I got the notes in the wrong order. So Contest Diving. Map number one of this step, the average lap pace, we're expecting around 100, a minute 20 to a minute 21-ish uh, in terms of lap, uh, average lap pace. And the current lap record is held, held by Scrappy with a 119.790. So a few things to note on this map is going to be the seat, is going to be uh, the drift before checkpoint number seven, which we're going to get to in the best part of 30 seconds right now. And the next, next uh, checkpoint following the wall ride. And also the identity, which is which I kind of divide into two parts. We're going to see Tween spectated this from the perspective of Tween. And uh, we're also going to be hit with him for the start of the race. CP7, you will see that there is actually a, co a wide corner just before the just before the checkpoint. Preceded by boosters that you actually see farther up the screen. You will notice that players will actually start the drift before the end of the booster. Get really close to the apex right here and then rotate the car right as they drop down in order to get an auto slide as they land it to the checkpoint and then get another auto slide and, and continue the slide before this booster on the wall ride, which is no cam switch, by the way. And then before this checkpoint right here, we will see some people getting for the wall banks and you can see Bran, Papu, and Spam go for it, but Tween opts to get a little bit safer here. And now we're going to get into the identity. This is one of those things that I divided to two parts, with the first part being the most dangerous. So, as we see, we got a booster and a jump. Go to the left and rotate the car right to get a 90 degree angle to initiate a grass slide. Now, there are two ways to do this. There's the safe way that Tween just did to keep all four wheels on the grass and and slide in order to get to the blue parts at the end of the track in order to scrub up the remaining speed and keep traction. But there is another strat that we're going to see other people do, which is actually clipping the inside curb of the wall of the U-turn um, and actually get on their back wheels, which causes the car to rotate faster on the grass slide. We're going to get into part two later, whereas not now, we're starting right now with Tween currently sitting in eighth place. So, everybody grouping up nice and easy. This is always the, this is the case in the first uh, few checkpoints of Trackmania. Everybody bunched up. The ranking is always kind of difficult to see. Pack got the whole shot into CP1, but everything seems to constantly shuffle and shuffle around. As we see that players are getting pretty pretty much accustomed to this map so far. Oh, rolling with a bit of a risky point here with the uh, risky encounter with the pillar, sorry. And it seems as though Tween has emerged into the lead with Revolution and Spam. We got a pretty good pack right here with Brand Pack, Spam, Revolution, and Papu, and Scrappy also getting into the mix. Let's actually check in with the Belgian driver for a little bit. Former player for Team Existence as they go into CP7. Gently set the car up in there, then go onto this slide right here before the wall ride. Currently, Revolution, Brent, Tween, and Pack, and uh, Spam, your top four. We also see Pack in there. Bren oh, Scrappy filling the wall bank, and that's going to drop him down the order really quickly as he gets behind Pack and drops the last place. Currently, Bren in first place. Tween currently sitting in P5 right behind this group. Bren having put a little bit of the gap, but he's getting reined in by both Spam, Revolution, and Tween. Papu also in the mix as we get into the first identity right now. Who's going to get it first? Let's see. Oh, Tween with a risky strat. Oh, and he gets so much momentum there that he manages to get back to up to Bren and battles for the lead right now. And he's going to overtake him on the second part of the identity. 
slide the car right left then go towards the blue part on the exit and he crosses the lap eight first lap in the lead so tween spam papu brand kappa rilu masa and Aurel, your top eight after lap number one tween with the fastest lap of the race with 123.292 as spam is now battling with tween the two arc rivals from 2012 <laughs> eight years ago this would have been in the headliner of the eswc uh finals but it turns out that we are seeing that battle again today spam is currently Holding his own right now against uh, Tween and giving him a run for his money. Papu currently sitting in third place, but all departure from Bren, who has overtaken him. Then we've got Masa currently sitting in P5, battling with his compatriot Riolu. Pretty interesting to see that Masa has managed to um, crop up easily in there with um, uh, in the first few laps. Oh, and actually Riolu makes a mistake and gets overtaken by Coco as a result. P7 and P8, and P6, P7, P8, as he, and he gets overtaken left, right, and center by Mats, Kappa, etc. And drop, will we'll drop down to P10 as a result. Thankfully, this is not a top eight. Um, this is not the punishing top eight maps that we're going to be seeing later on. And we're going to go back to Twin as he sits behind Papu and Brand. Twin currently sitting in P3. Papu hitting the jump up at the checkpoint, and that's going to promote Twin automatically into second place as they go into the identity. Brand getting a bit of a safer line through there. Twin, oh, that was really risky from him, but he came, managed to keep it on the road. He's not able to actually make it stick on Brand though, and Brand will remain into the lead. Let's see if he can make it, any get to happen in the second part of the identity. No, it will Brand will be Brand who remains in the lead. Then Spam also getting into the mix. And Queen is currently looking really competitive here. Brand getting the fastest up of the race so far with 120.173. And it seems as though Tween is looking pretty consistent. We only have uh, 120.692 on average. And Zest is so his best lap. Let's actually check in on Spam. 120.671. 120.173 for Brand, which is currently holding the lap record. Uh, Papu, 120.7. So yeah, we're hovering in the 120s and 121s in terms of lap pace. So that's pretty much... Par for the course right here as Masa is a little bit further behind the top four battle. A little held by Spam currently sitting in the lead in front of Bran and Tween. The pack is still really, really bunched up for, up for first place. It's only a tenth and two tenths, three tenths between top one and four. Then we got a little bit gap down to Masa. Then we got Coco, Orel, and Kappa completing the top eight. Also having a little bit of battle of their own right there. But we're going to just check him and back onto the leaders. We see also Aurel having made a mistake. Aurelu having a mistake, made a mistake as well. Spam has made a mistake and he's dropped down from the lead down to P5. Let's actually check in with Papu just behind Green and Bran. Let's see if there is any mistake from the our driver. No, it seems as though he managed to get more speed than Bran and he's able to battle for the lead right now. Let's see how everything fares in the second part of the identity at the end of map three. Everything seems to be pretty controlled by Tween and he gets the fastest step of the race with a 119.884 so far. Bumping his average down to 120.288. 119.844. Tween the fastest lap on the track. The fastest man on the track as of lap number three. Brand currently sitting in P2, less than a tenth behind. And you can see the battle is raging between these two guys. And we're already seeing quite a bit of a gap emerging between the top two and the rest of the field. But it seems as though Papu might be able to do something about it as he is able to claw back some gap to Tween in front. He's only six tenths behind now. And he could potentially gain even further as he seems to. As he begins to settle in himself into a rhythm and get class some speed back. Masa currently sitting in P4, battling with Spam and Riolu as well. Then over the two-second mark, we got Coco and Scrappy having a little bit of a battle between themselves. Scrappy is entering in P8, Coco currently in P7, Aurel behind him, and Pack completing the top 10 so far. Let's check him back on Tween. Currently branded the lead, half a second up on the on the Slovak driver. Then we got another Frenchman sandwiching the Slovak driver. It is Papu. Currently 0.8 seconds behind Bren, half a second behind Tween. It seems as though Tween is looking to secure this pretty well here. Let's actually see in the identity how everything goes. Oh, Tween again. It's such a risky one. It seems as though he manages to get it pretty regularly and manages to contain as much speed as he can, thus enabling him to pile the pressure on Bren, who gets a little bit of a worse landing than Tween here. And Scrappy gets the fastest snap of the race once again, and that's a new track record with 119.528. Currently, uh, the average lap of Tween is 120.312, which is looking pretty good. Looking pretty competitive, and Bren just, but Bren's just a little bit faster. 120.149 average, 120.121, fastest snap for him. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. A pretty intense battle for the lead here between the Slovak driver and the French driver from Team Lunary, and versus our man from Pittsburgh Knights. Papu currently sitting in P3, three tenths down on the leader. And then over a second behind, we find Spam battling it with Scrappy. Scrappy, the author of the fastest lap of the race, remember? As of lap number four. And battling it out with his Dutch, uh, with his Dutch uh, rival. And actually makes short work of him and overtakes him for fourth place. Just like that. We're going to over go back into Papu here. 
to actually see how everything fares for the leaders. Ren currently is remaining in the lead. Two tenths of a second in front of Tween. Tween, two tenths in front of Papu. As we get back into the identity for the second to final time. People safing the jump, judging the draw distance here. In order to avoid clipping the top of the checkpoint into the grass slide, they go. Yeah, nicely done by all three drivers. We managed to managed to get as much speed as they can. Meanwhile, in terms of the other players, Kappa has had a pretty sick, a pretty good mistake in here. Kappa going really risky. Mas, uh, Matt's also riding out the field. He must have made a mistake in the identity, forcing him to respawn. 15 seconds down to the leader in last place. Tween battling out with Papu for the lead. Bren has made a mistake that we didn't catch on camera. I'm really sorry about that. And he dropped down from P1 to P3. Papu got the fastest lap of map, map number 5 with the 119.699, but did not do enough to actually take this, the fastest lap away from Scrappy, who's currently looking set to score the two bonus points that come with the fastest lap of the race. Meanwhile, Papu and meanwhile Papu pulls a little bit ahead. Three tenths of a gap between him, Brent, and Tween. As Tween overtakes Brent so far for second place, but the battle is still really nip and tuck between the two drivers. Papu emerging in the lead, four tenths in front of Tween. Between just two tenths in front of Ren, we'll see how everything goes into this final lap and the identity that we will go for the final time through. Oh, Tween goes for the safe way, and that's good, uh, as, as opposed to Ren who goes for the wall bang, and that enables Ren to overtake Tween. Maybe he just wants to safeguard those uh, those 12 points and maybe be content, or maybe he could pick 14 up. Let's actually see how everything goes to the identity. The jump is really well passed by most of these players. Let's actually see Papu. He's pretty much clear. Oh, Tween has a, not that so much of an identity here and gets overtaken by Brent, definitely. He's going to have to go for safe here and he's going to be securing his 12 points for third place. Papu is assured. Oh, actually, Papu missed a mistake and that's going to drop him down to third place. Brent wins the map. Twen Tween second, Papu third, Scrappy fourth, Spam fifth, Massa sixth, Puck seventh, Ryulu eighth, Coco ninth, Orel tenth, Revolution eleventh, Kappa twelfth, Rollin thirteenth, and Matt will cross the line in last place and the fastest lap on lap 6 was Kappa with 119.767. Man, I got a headache. <laughs> Anyways, Tween managed to collect 14 valuable points. That's a really good start for our man for Pittsburgh Knights. Ren, meanwhile, has got the full 20 points and Scrappy will be third equal with Papu as he scores the 10 points for fourth place, fourth place plus the two points that come with the fastest lap with a 119.528. So Bren is first with 20 points, Tween second with 14 points, third equal are Papu and Scrappy with 12 points, fifth place for Spam with 9 points, Smasa sixth with 8 points, Pax seventh with 7 points, and Riyalu completing the top 8 so far with 6 points. As I'm drinking a little bit of water here, kind of keep my throat lubricated. Not dry. And we're moving already on into the second map, which is just skidding. Now, we're going to do a little bit of Cam 7 here just to show the identity and the blog that I'm talking about. So, the identity is this particular dirt section right here, made up of of uh, two t of uh, two sequences of tight turns. But what's really the kicker is the lead foot block, which is right here. Now, the lead foot, in other terms, basically pins, as soon as you cross this block, the throttle is pinned down at 100% and all the brakes are disabled. So, you're just constantly, constantly, constantly accelerating into that particular block. Now, in terms of the map itself, we're going to see that this particular hoop ring CP is passed at around 255 kilometers an hour by most players. It is passed full speed on first lap, but due to the nature of uh, but due to the nature of the second lap being always faster, especially at the ramp, we're going to see people lifting either during the jump or slightly before the jump in order to actually shorten their jump distance and their height in order to just continue to clear the CP. If you go slightly above 260 kilometers an hour, you're guaranteed to hit the pillar. Then we see that uh, people will go to the three triangle strats to actually cross the CPs in the grass. And then in this dirt turn, you get as wide as possible to carry at least over 300 kilometers an hour to jump over this engine killer block right there in order to continue to accelerate into the next checkpoint right here. Then we're going to go into the identity and you're going to see that all pretty much all the players will actually slam on the brakes to actually reduce their speed to around 110 or 120 kilometers an hour. We're going to see that tween right now. Yeah, they're 103 kilometers an hour. And then you can see we're really wide on the entry and then tighten the turn and then start turning early to get the car sideways and scrub off as much speed as possible and then slow down again for a second for a second left foot block and go for the relatively safe strat, strat and try to scrub and try to keep as much speed as possible. And then we're going to another lap and you can see that people will actually lift. There you go. That is the case of tween, but it is actually really difficult to actually get the lift right. If you lift a little bit too late or a little bit too uh, too long, your speed will be affected in a negative way and you could potentially be landing 
in a pretty worse spot. So, map number two. Ren first, Tween second, Papu third so far overall, and we're gonna be specking Tween once again. Go Tween! As everybody gets started, everybody gets on their way nice and easy. As we see some people actually go for a diagonal strat, people going from right to left. Axe going to the first loop here, and we're gonna go into this particular turn. And see, oh, actually, Twin doesn't go for the drift here. He goes for the little bump in over there and actually slides a little bit. And then we go into this particular section. One, two, three checkpoints, and that's no we no dead. And Masa currently emerging in the lead. Masa However, does not have as much speed as Sween, and Tween overtakes Masa to take the lead so far as of lap 1, and he jumps over the free will easily. Let's actually see if there are any big players yet. Revolution has made a mistake and has lost the best part of 6 seconds there. He's going to be down in last place. So Tween so far in the lead in front of Bren, Pack, and Masa, and Strappy as well. There's a pretty big pack here battling it out for the top 2 positions, and we're going to go into the identity for the first time of 6 laps. Apparently, Twin going for really safely. Oh, and dropping a lot of speed as a result. Oh, that is really risky from from actually Twin, and he's gonna drop a lot of places as a result. Oh, Matt is gonna have to respawn. That's unfortunate for the Brazilian driver, and he's gonna have to respawn. He jumps down behind Kappa, and that's gonna be second to last place for him. Meanwhile, Massa crosses in the lead and gets the fastest lap as a result with a 109.239. Brandon Brand has managed to overtake Massa to get the lead. Then Brand's first, Massa second, Pack third, Scrappy fourth. Real of 5th and, and 6th is Tween after a uh, pretty shaky identity. He might, he wanted to probably go a little bit too, bit too safe and was on the edge of actually having been forced to respawn. Thankfully, this is, again, not a punishing map because here, not, here the bottom mate will not lose their points. It's going to happen after map on the map 4, which is going to be 3 Spirit. Meanwhile, Brennan the lead battling with Pack. It seems as though... The European Union will be battling against the United Kingdom, which is not part of the EU, EU anymore. Sorry, I had to say it. Uh, Masa currently battling it out with Pack to potentially get second place. Let's actually see how everything fa everyone fares in the identity. Scrappy as well. Oh, actually, Scrappy gets a lot less momentum. Riolu and Tween make short work of them. Riolu currently sitting in fifth. Peak Tween in fourth. Tween will go for the safe identity. Let's actually go through him for his perspective here. Riolu also dropping a lot of speed here. Ooh, Tween manages to get... Ooh, Spab! That's a really hard... Hard hit here. He manages to get through though and still remains in P9, but still, that was a really heavy stop pick from him. So, Twee manages to win two places as of lap number two. Le Brand with the fastest stop of the race so far with the 105.735. Brand currently sitting in the lead. Half a second in front of Massa, then two tenths of a second and down further. We got Pack in third place and just a second, oh, just a little under a second behind the leader, we find our man Tween, the Slovak driver from Pittsburgh Knights, who is managing to get a lot more speed than Pack, and he's gonna make short work of him to overtake him for three for third place. Let's actually see how he fares. Oh, and actually drops him a little bit of speed. He wanted to save that turn here. Brand getting really wide to get the, to get over the free wheel as quickly as possible and extending his lead to over a second to Pack against Pack and Massa. Pack and Massa battling with each other for second place. It seems as though we got a, quite a big rift then farming up between the top 10 and the rest of the players. Kappa has made a mistake. Rolling made a mistake. They are both down to 11th and 12th place with 11 and 13 seconds down on the leader respectively. Let's actually see how Tween fares in their bat. Poo has also making a run for his money and Pack has faltered. He will be forced to respawn and will drop down the order and Tween will remain in fourth place as one player drops out but another one comes in. Papu currently sitting in third place. Two seconds down on the leader. Then we got uh, Masa just a second up ahead uh, ahead on him. And then we got Bren still in the lead. With a 105.314, he gets the fastest lap of the race. So let's actually see where Pack lands. Lance, Pack lands in P9 just behind his former teammate Spam. Spam not having a really good map so far. With 5.1 seconds of a gap between him and the first place. Oh, and actually we saw someone swipe spawn. It was Scrappy. Scrappy is completely dead right now. He will not be able to re-accelerate fast enough. And that's going to be it for the for the Belgian driver on this map. Unlucky for him. Tween, meanwhile, remains calm and collected. He remains in fourth place. He remains in that point spinning position. That's so that's so important. Currently, this is ten points up for grabs and potentially twelve as he gets the battle with Papu for third place. Let's actually see how Bren makes it through the identity. He manages to get it pretty fast and pretty consistently. So he is the man with the advantage. Although he had a little bit of clip on the inside there. And he's going to be able to still retain the lead with two laps to go. Masa in second place, Papu in third, Tween in fourth place. Tween still have around half a second behind Papu, but he will not be able to. Uh, but he will still have nothing to worry because the next man, man behind him, Riolu, is just two seconds behind. Then we got Aurel a little bit in there as well. As of map four, as of lap four, 
pack is the fastest lap on, man on track with a 106.077. And uh, yeah, we got many, many mistakes. Crappy, uh, he had to respawn. Coco seemed to have had to respawn. The player from Oserve Gaming is not going to be able to actually score valuable points here in this map. Currently sitting in 12th place. And let's actually see Brand Papu in second place. Tween in third. And it seems as though we had a mistake from someone. It was Masa, who um, apparently has faltered and was forced to respawn. And he drops the best part of six seconds on the leader. Masa currently sitting in P7 and even P8 after being overtaken by Spam. Eight seconds down on Bren. Bren continuing to live the race convincingly. Then we got Papu in second place. Sorry for the drop frames here, everybody. Papu currently in second place. Tween in third place. Just three, three seconds behind the leader. Let's actually see if he, how he gets on with the identity for the second to last time in this winter season. Tween seems to get it pretty well. Really sorry for the drop, uh, drop frames, guys. That's not... Uh, that is not uh, really my fault here. Can't really do anything about it. Final lap for Tween, Papu, and Bren, who, has, uh, who is currently your top three so far for this uh, particular step. Bren, one, uh, nine seconds in front of Papu. Then we find Tween a little bit further behind. One and a half seconds. Scrappy with a 105.831 is the fastest lap on man on track. As of lap number five, but it won't really matter too much as Scrappy is currently sitting in at 11 and will only score a few a few points. I think it is four points for him. There are a few freezes between my game and um, OBS. I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to try to suss that out during the break. Don't worry about it. Matt, meanwhile, has overtaken Kappa for ninth place and Kappa has been forced to respawn. So Scrappy has managed to overtake him. It seems as though Coco will make the same thing. Yeah, Coco gets by. Revolution will might at least get by. Uh, no, actually, he's a bit too far behind. So... Bran getting through the identity for the final time. So does Papu and so does Tween. Let's actually check in with our man to see how he gets through for the final time in this dirt identity with the left foot blocks. Let's actually see. Through the chicane he goes. Bran will win the map. Papu will go second and Tween will secure the 12 points for third place. Spam will finish in fourth place. Masa sixth. Riolo will drop down. Fasa will finish in fifth. Aurel sixth. Riolo in seventh place. Pack will finish in eighth place. Then we'll see Scrappy finishing in ninth just ahead of Matt. Then we see Coco in 11th place. Overtaking Kappa, yeah, Kappa, uh, Coco in 11th place, Kappa will be Revolution 12th place, Kappa 13th, and Rolling will be down in 14th. Over the 106 last lap for, uh, Bren, claiming the title for his fastest man on track, and still holding that lap record with a 105.314. So then, after map number 2, we're gonna see second equal between Bren, between Papu and Tween with 26 points each, and but Bren will continue to lead with 42 points to his account as he wins the 20 points for the map win and the two points for the um and the two points for the fastest lap of the race. I just adjusted the um I've adjusted the um the sounds graphics. So 42 points for Land of the Lead, then third and second and third, Papu and Tween with 26 points each, then Spam fourth with 19 points, Masai and Scrappy fifth and sixth with 17 points each, then RL seventh and Riolu 8th with 13 points. As we're going to go on to map number 3, which is going to be Wavebreaker. That's finally the time that I get to say Wavebreaker is finally the map we're going to play after saying it wrong so many times. Anyways, this is Wavebreaker, the first, actually, map 4 of step 4 last night, uh, last Sunday, rather. And uh, currently, in terms of average lap pace, we're sitting around the 117 to 118 mark, with the fastest lap of the race being held by Papu from step 4 with the 117.576. There are a few C there are a few checkpoints that are really um, there are a few key points that I want to actually point uh, point out um, throughout this lap and uh, also talk a little bit about the identity and we're gonna see many people having a little bit of a different take um, regarding this particular st particular step. So this is Wavebreaker by Firestorm, a rather dirt centric, a rather dirt heavy map, uh, if, in my opinion. Along the lines of contest driving, in terms of uh, contest diving, sorry, in terms of uh, dirt heaviness. Also, sorry for the drop frames. I can't really do anything about it right now. I'm going to try to suss that out during the break. So then, we're going to head on to CP5 and look at this jump right here. The players will actually go towards the left side here, and it is important to have above a certain speed in order to actually clear that jump. If you are underneath the 415 km per hour mark, you will not be able to go through it. Then we go to, into this dirt section. So you see a left turn followed by a left followed by another right turn here coming up the speed on the inside and then go to the inside of that platform block and clip the two blue parts on the inside to actually get some grip back and straighten the car a little bit then we're gonna go towards the identity in a short period of time as we're gonna see that um there are quite a few different lines that uh, people will tend to get so get as much speed as possible in order to actually clear the first jump 
the, the hump clearing this uh, clear speed is around 200 kilometers an hour there or thereabouts and actually position you and actually the trick here is to position the car as we see that uh, tween did not really manage to do that well it's really easy to mess up the positioning of the car for each completing each of these jumps and the final jump here you must have at least 190 kilometers an hour to clear it in order to cross the multi-lap and and uh, continue the lap without the respawn so Step, uh, step five, map number three. Brent still in the lead. Papu and Sweeney equal second with 26 points. Oh, sorry. I'm going to um, actually turn off my uh, Streamlabs. There we go. So, map number three. Let me actually get back into the chat. There we go. So, Sweeney currently in the rag group as we see uh, as we see that the, part, uh, the uh, dirt part is probably going to be a favor of some of the other players like Riolu. And uh, Papu, most notably, who, Papu being a dirt player in himself, Aurel as well, who has been uh, competing in the Trackmania Dirt League and um, Planet Dirt Cup as well. Uh, Trackmania Planet Dirt Cup. Oh, so sorry for the notifications from my Streamlabs. Uh, anyways, currently Aurel sitting in 10th. Let's actually see where Tween is at, currently sitting in top 8. Um, eh, he's still remaining in the good group, not too far behind. We'll see uh, if anybody makes a mistake so far. The first two maps were really his safe heaven. He was really... Hoping to score some big points, and he in this he did, uh, scoring second and third place in the last two maps. Let's actually see if he manages to get a good finish on this particular one, which is apparently not really his favorite from the step four maps. As we're going to go into the identity for the first time. Also, sorry for the music that cut out. All right, there we go. Tween clearing the identity pretty good so far, and even manages to get a few, get a few places from other pe people who made mistake. Papu will cross the line in first place, followed by Tween and Coco. Coco, out of nowhere, crosses the line in third place and battles it out with Tween and Spam for the benefit of the second place in those 14 points. Papu with the fastest up of the race so far with the 120.753, and we're going to see people many times falter after that. Between so far remaining in third place behind Coco and Papu. So far a French 1-2. Not a French 1-2-3 as Brand currently is in fifth place. Half a second behind that league group. But you can see that group is still remaining fairly tight. It's still really well together. And Kappa coming into the coming into the frame as well. The beta season league champion. The beta season champion currently sitting in P7. Being overtaken by Pac right now. As we're going to go into this dirt part right there. Let's actually see if there are any wall clips. As they attack this left-hander, let's actually see... Uh, it's still fairly clean. Ryulu had made a mistake in the identity and this drops down to P8. One second behind the leader. Revolution currently sitting in P9. Scrappy in 10th. Orel in 11th. Masa in 12th place. Masa in 13th place. He got overtaken by Matt. Oh, Tween has managed to overtake Coco. Coco drops down the 4th. Tween uh, moves up the 3rd. As they go into the identity for the second time out of 6. Tween clearing that perfectly, picture-perfect identity from Tween here. And Bren manages to uh, grab a couple of places again. And he gets up to 4th place. Pat currently sitting in 5th. Riolu 6th. Scrappy 7th. But most importantly, Tween currently sitting in 3rd place. Just behind Spam and Papu. Scrappy with the fastest up of the race so far with 117.749. The Belgian driver currently sitting in 6th place. 1.8 seconds behind the leader. And just a well, second behind the pack between the battle between Bren and Pack, and you also see Riolu also trying to overtake um, Scrappy for 6th place. Let's actually check in back with our man, Tween. Papu in the lead, four, uh, 3 tenths in front of Spam, Tween 6 tenths behind Papu, and just 3 tenths behind Spam. Bren just behind that and battling with Pack for 4th place, let's actually see how that battle unfolds. Ah, uh, Tween is really, really, really on the looking on the tightrope here. He's looking to score some big points, but he doesn't want to risk it too much. Even though that map is not really the most punishing maps out of the out of the whole map pack. Scrappy coming in hot and overtaking Brand momentarily to get P5 back in P4 and battling with Tween right now. Tween uh, currently in risk of losing his third place. The Papu makes a mistake and he may fail the identity. He's gonna drop down further places. He's running up down to at least five places. There we go. Pa Bren has overtaken him and Papu will be down to P6. Spam will inherit the lead. Half a second in front of Tween. Then in third place we will find Pat. Six tenths behind. Um, this is six, uh, six tenths behind the leader and two tenths behind Tween right now. Scrapping with the fastest up of the race again. In fourth place with 117.427. Bren in fifth. Papu sixth. Riolu seventh. And Revolution completes your top eight so far. Again, I'm really sorry for the drop frames. I'm going to try to suss that out. Tween currently sitting half a second behind Spam. And just behind him, hot on his heels, is the is the British driver pack from 
Molotovs and Marshmallows. It must be noted that Pack is actually the 2016 Trackmania World Cup champion and was one of those uh, was one of those um, players that is considered to be one of the best player one of the best players of uh, Trackmania of his time. Even though for this particular Grand League it doesn't really show since he doesn't really have much time to train. Scrappy manages to overtake Pack and take his third place, and now he's going to battle with Tween. Tween currently again at risk of losing his second place right now, and he seems as though he will lose it momentarily at least as Scrappy overtakes him for second place. But now here comes the identity. Actually, Scrappy was able to get some pretty decent laps here. Sorry for the bump into the microphone there. Spam gets it really well. Scrappy gets it really well as well. Let's see if there's any fails on the last jump. No, and it seems as though Pack has managed to get a little bit of ground on Tween as well. So Spam will cross the line with two laps to go in first place. Then we will get Scrappy in second place and Tween in third place. Back in fourth, Papu fifth, Brent sixth, Riolu seventh, and Revolution completing the top eight. Raw Rail ninth, Kappa will be in tenth, Coco eleventh, Masa twelfth, Matt thirteenth, and Rolling twenty seconds down on the leader, fourteenth place. Scrappy still the fastest man on track though, with the 117.587. Scrappy currently sitting in second place, and Tween has made a mistake. We have missed that on camera. Not from the camera, sorry about that. And he drops down from sec from P3 to P6. He got overtaken by both by Pac, Papu, and Bren. Let's actually see if he manages to catch up with these guys with two laps to go, and less than two laps to go even. So far, so good. It seems as though the pack remains really tight in front of Tween, so that could potentially be a lot of positions up for grabs, but actually he's got a lot less momentum than Riolo, who scoots by him and just takes a sip place just like that. Tween down to P7. Let's actually see if he get, manages to get anything going here. Pack has made a mistake and drops down to Riolo. Riolo coming in hot. Pack dropping down slowly but surely. And maybe this is the chance for Tween to overtake him over the identity. Let's actually see if the British... And it's actually if the Brit makes a mistake. Ah, uh, Pack seems to have got it down, and Tween actually fails the identity, and will jump down to P9, but as Revolution and Orel overtake him. That's... That's a bit sad to see that Tween is uh, currently uh, dropping down a few places, but luckily this is only map 3, this is not map 4. Spam currently sitting in the lead on the final lap of the race, then we got Scrappy in second place, Papu in third place, who just snatched the, lap, the fastest lap away from Scrappy, with 117.294, the fastest lap on the man on the track so far. Currently, Tween sitting in P9, 5 seconds behind the leader. He's going to have a lot of work to do in order to catch up with both Orel, Revolution, and Pack in order to claw these positions back to get the points. Sorry again for the rather shaky stuff. Anyways, uh, Tween currently sitting in P9, 5 seconds down on the leader, and we got a freeze. I actually got my game for... Oh, God. I am so scared. I don't want my, I don't want my game to actually falter on me right now. So, Spam currently sitting in the lead, 7 tenths in front, one, a second in, uh, 1 second in front of Scrappy, and Papu coming in hot again with the steal for the second place from Scrappy. Brand currently sitting in P4, but maybe not for long as Riolu comes in hot again and seeks to get some good positions going here. Twin currently sitting in 8th place. We're going to check in with him to see how he does the identity for the final time in this step. The second jump is cleared really well. Let's actually see the third one. Third one is, ooh, is risky, but it's still... Clear, but he will get overtaken by Aurel as a result. Papu will win the race in front of Scrappy. Spam third, Riolu fourth, Pack fifth, Brent, uh, Revolution sixth. Bren has made a mistake and drops down to ninth. Aurel seventh, Tween eighth, Kappa ninth. Uh, uh, Bren ninth, Kappa tenth. Masa eleventh, Coco twelfth, Matt thirteenth, Rolling fourth. And Rolling is going about to cross the identity for the final time and cross the line in fourteenth place. And he seems as though he's going to be, I mean, and he's not able to finish. He's not able to finish. He is actually running out of time. So that is going to be it for this particular map. And we're going to see a lead change here as uh, there are not going to be many points scored. Yes, it is going to be a lead change for a single point. Papu will take the lead from his compatriot, Brent. Papu with 48 points. Points in first place, then Bren in second place with 47 points. Then in third place, let's see who we will find after the points will tallied up. Papu first with 48, Bren second with 47. Tween, 3rd place with 32 points, Scrappy 4th with 31 place, 4th equal with Spam with 31, 6th place for Riolu with 23 points, Pack 7th with 22 points, and Masa completes the top 8 with 21. So, we are going to be heading into the first, into the midway break. We got a 6 minute break uh, in between the two sets of maps. Let's actually see if we can actually get Tween to, uh, if we can actually get, uh, get a few words on Tween. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it though. I 
it seems as though he's not on the current server, so... I guess this is gonna be a good time for me to potentially take a little break here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit quick break. We're gonna take a break for a few minutes. Uh, just to get uh, rehydrated and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so, let me just switch over to my camera. There we go. So, really sorry about the drop frames. I'm gonna try to suss that out as much as I can during the break as well. So, we're gonna have a break of around three to four minutes before we will get back on the um, on the, uh, the server for the second part of the step. And this is gonna be the money time. This is where it all begins. Top eight will get your points. Bottom eight will lose all the points they've accumulated. You know the rule. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick break right here and I'll be right back. Hang on tight. All right, we are back in after a quick hydration break and trying to suss out some issues. Like, it turns out my CPU is kind of playing havoc with, um, with uh, in terms of like um, process times. It's not showing in my OBS, but it's pretty sure that there's some background processes that are running that have been fucking up with the stream. Sorry for the words. Anyways, we're gonna be in back in for the next uh, set of maps. There's a minute and twenty seconds left before the start of this particular map set. We're actually gonna get back into the game as soon as we're gonna get the display back, which is gonna be in 50 seconds time. And so this again, this is the money time that happens. Maps four, five, and six. The bottom eight of these maps will, will lose all the points that they've accumulated on the previous maps combined and only score the placement points for this particular map. And it seems as though we are back with, um, yeah, the league will be back in 55 seconds so yeah apparently i'm not really getting the spec right now we'll get at the end of the timer in the end so yeah 
maps, the four, five, and six maps are going to be Free Spirit, Zeppelin, and Starcase. And Zeppelin is probably going to be the real killer here, as uh, it's a map that is feared by most players. Uh, I'm not really talking about Tween specifically. I didn't really have his uh, his opinion on that one, but he. But it is definitely feared by some of the best players, by some of the bigger players. Some people like Masa, people like Riolu. People like Scrappy. People are actually really, really fearful of that of those particular maps because of the identity that is going to be a real killer. That is more akin to a certain style of maps that people will recognize if they are into the track menu scene. And I'm going to delve into that a little bit further. So, map number four will be three free spirits by Link. Uh, in terms of average lap pace, we can expect um, at least around 122 to 123 per lap. And um, yeah, there are a couple of things. To note that what we're going to be um, saying throughout the map. Anyways, we're going to be switching back in game now with the step four map number four, step five happening, and you can see interval from eighth position. The bottom eight will lose all their points. Here we go, as we're going to be checking in again with our man. As we're going to be switching over to camera number one. There we go. So there is going to be a jump um, happening soon. So before the fifth checkpoint i completely have lost track of which, which checkpoint is which so yeah there's going to be a ch uh, jump coming in in the best part of five seconds right now and you're going to see that uh there's going to be a certain uh, certain way of doing it you're going to have to have a certain clear speed 340 kilometers an hour set the car up rotate the car towards the right in order to get another slide in order to actually get really close to the turn as possible then we're going to get into another um then we're going to talk about the identity so far it seems to be pretty tech heavy stuff it's actually one of tween's best maps uh, I have actually seen the um, seen him uh, prepare a little bit beforehand, and he's keeping in that constant butter zone of the 122 to 123 times, and it seems as though he will be uh, looking pretty competitive out there as he looks to show it right now with third place so far, battling out with Spam, Masa, Kappa, and Papu. Papu currently in the lead, and here there are two schools. The Neo slide or the respawn, and you can see that there's going to be a free wheel here, followed by a slide, followed by another slide. And there's a specific speed to respect as well. If you're around 155 to 160 kilometers an hour, you're going to be good. At the exit of the booster, you will be able to have enough speed to climb up that uh, that hill and cross the checkpoint in order to regain control of the engine to attack the final part of the map right here and cross the start finish line to start the map. Another lap. So, Papu currently the lead, Spam in second, Rio the third, Masa fourth, between currently in fifth place. Papu with the fastest step of the race so far with 126.442. So, Tween, currently sitting in 5th place, currently remaining in that right group, but uh, you can see that everything is still pretty grouped up as to lap 1. Only 8 tenths of a second of a gap between 1st place and 8th place, and just 1 tenth behind we find Revolution, who's currently the first driver who is set to lose all these points. And there were, we got some pretty big point scorers here. It seems as though Bren has made a mistake we, can, we, have, been fa we have failed to catch on camera, and he will be lose, losing all of his 47 points, and then some big mistake happens. Some big mistakes happen in the upper field here, but I'm not really sure if that's going to happen, so... That could potentially be game over for the French driver from Team Lunary. Meanwhile, Bre Meanwhile, Tween will remain in third place so far. Actually, in fourth place as he gets uh, gets overtaken by Massa. The battle still rages on between the German and the Slovak driver. Meanwhile, Spam is currently in front of them with second place. And Papu remains in the lead. Half a second in front of uh, Spam. And Spam is going to go for the respawn while Papu will go for the Neo slide. It seems as though the Neo slide might be the way to go. Although some people will eventually fail it. 160 kilometers at the exit of the... Uh, 277 kilometers at the end of the booster. And so... He manages to clear that he manages to clear that hill. And it seems as though we got another big point scorer. Kappa has made a mistake. Scrappy is also down there with 31 points. He could... You know, he could have picked up a good few points. But so far he's not looking good. Brand, as I stated, it's pretty much game over for him. Masa with the fastest up of the race so far with 123.142. He's currently sitting in second place. Papi, uh, uh, Tween in third place, just behind Spam. Uh, Tween in fourth place, just behind Spam. Half a second covered top four right now. Papu still emerging in the lead, pulling a little bit of a lead in here. Papu holding his own really well. Could this be the second step in a row for uh, Papu? There was no pause interview. Um, there was no interview pause. For um for Tween because he wasn't actually on the server uh when I um when the break was actually occurring so yeah unfortunately I couldn't get any words from Tween I will try to see if we can actually get a debrief a little bit later on with him so currently Bubble remaining in the lead Masai in second place half a second behind 
Then we got Tween and Spam battling it out for third place. Riolu is a little bit further behind, four tenths behind Tween. Revolution is again behind that. Pack and Coco completed top eight score far, but Aurel is also in the mix. Aurel is looking to safeguard those 20 points, and Scrappy as well could potentially get into the trouble here and potentially play one of the troublemakers in scoring those 31 points. So far, so good in the front. The order remains the same as it ever was. Aurel has managed to uh, snatch a few positions away manages to climb up to P7 and get into the points saving zone. Meanwhile, Coco has dropped down to P9 and could be set to lose these 13 points, but he's currently battling with, the, with uh, the driver pack. Masa has made a mistake and he's dropped down to P4 and could potentially drop down to P5. As a result, let's see. Masa with one with the 123.160 is the fastest man on track right now. He still holds the fastest snap of the race with the 123.114. Tween is currently battling it out with Spam. Spam currently sitting just behind Tween. Tween in second place, eight tenths of a second behind Papu in first place. And Spam having a little bit more momentum in the jump could potentially overtake him in the next set of corners. Let's actually see how everything goes through here. Tween looking extremely good right now. Papu still remaining in third place. Eight tenths of a second in front of Spam. A second in front of Spam now in second place. Tween remaining in third place. Remaining in that good fight to secure potentially 14 points in the, in the best case. And worst case would be 12 points, which would still be a decent points haul. In this map, Massa in fourth place, 1.8 seconds down on the leader. Then we got Revolution Riolu, a German 456, followed by Coco in seventh place, Aurel in eighth place, and we got eight tenths of a second behind these guys. We got Scrappy and Bran currently sitting in third to twelfth place, is not really looking set to actually retain those 47 points unless a big mistake happens. Poo uh, Papu, meanwhile, about to set the second to and about to start off the penultimate lap here with a second of advantage between him and Spam, between remaining third place. 4th Masa, 5th Riolu, 6th Revolution, RL 7th, and Scrappy has managed to overtake Pack. Pack has made a mistake, and Coco as well, and that's going to allow Scrappy to potentially safeguard those 31 points he've accumulated. Papu with the fastest man on tra fastest lap of the race even, with a 122.964. Really nice first half from Tween, effectively 2-3-8. A really consistent pace so far, uh, even though it's not really the best pace we, is, we have seen so far in training. With the 123.3, he still remains in that right buzzer zone competitiveness. Meanwhile, Papu is just two tenths of a, net of a second faster than uh, Tween on average. Spam is a, it's a tenth slower than Tween on average. It's still looking really, really even, a pretty close match, even though Papu has a slight advantage in terms of pace. Given, and given those kind of parts that you're actually seeing here, it's pretty easy to see why. Scrappy, meanwhile, having a battle of his own with Coco, and that could potentially be uh, the be-all end-all for this for the Belgian driver as he could be potentially set to lose his 13 points his 41 points story if Coco manages to overtake him meanwhile people are gonna go through the identity once again really good speed from tween actually Papu having a little been a little bit slower here if I'm not mistaken ah uh, he actually manages to keep the gaps up around the same so Papu will enter the final lap with 9 tenths of a second between him and Tween, who has managed to, managed to snatch second place away from Spam, who has made a mistake and lost a little bit of speed in the identity. Spam in third place, Masa fourth, Riolu fifth, Revolution sixth, RL seventh, and Scrappy eighth, but not too far behind his pack, who could potentially deny him from scoring 31 points. Tween with the fastest lap of the race, the first fastest lap for him, the second fastest lap for him, sorry, with the 122.927, currently sinking in seventh place, seven tenths behind the leader, Papu. Papu looking pretty dominant here. It seems as though we're switching to the Cole Jr. point of view, as I like to call it. Camera number three, which is basically the bumper cam in other racing games. Papu, meanwhile, remaining cool, calm, and collected. Leading the race convincingly. Half a second in front of Tween in second place. Second place, uh, third place will be for Spam in third place. Battling in um, for Masa uh, with fourth place. Riolu a bit further behind. Then we see Revolution still hanging in there. Aurel as well. Scrappy as well, battling it out with Pack, and that's going to be the battle to follow here. Who will prevail? The, no, the British player from Melotovs and Marshmallows or the Belgian Orgless driver? We'll have to see. Meanwhile, we're going to be following Tween for the final time in the identity right now. And we're going to be seeing him potentially cross the lane to second place. We'll see. Yes, he gets much more momentum than the rest of the players. And he is able to cross that gap easily and at the end of map number four Papu will win the second map of the night and Tween will get the second actually Masa snatches the fastest lap of the race with the 122.889 at the end Spam third Masa fourth Riolu fifth oh, Revolution sixth RL seventh and Scrappy will keep his 31 points with eighth place Pack ninth Matt tenth Coco eleventh Brent twelfth Kappa thirteen and Roland 
will cross the finish line in last place and we're gonna see Brent falling like a rock in the standings as he is losing his 47 points scored. Such a dissolution, such a delusion for the French driver. And so we will see that Papu will remain in the lead with 68 points to his credit and Tween will continue to climb up the Grand Kings and potentially and secure second place this time with 36 points to his credit. Could have been 38 if Massa had not snatched the fastest lap of the race. So, Papu, 40, 30, 68 points for him in the lead of the step. Second place for Tween in 46, with 46 points. Third place for Spamming with 43. Scrappy, fourth with 37 points. Massa, fifth with 33 points. Real Aloof, sixth with 32 points. Aurel, seventh with 27 points. And Revolution, eighth with 24. As we're going to go on to map number five, which is Zeppelin. You know... Every time in the Tion Grand League, there's a guillotine, there's a life that I like to call the guillotine, the one that will claim a bunch of people in lap one and claim a bunch of big coin scorers, and that's going to be the case in this particular one. So, the identity we're going to be talking about is this one, the Zeppelin jump. There's going to be, they're going to have to jump this ramp into the Zeppelin right here and cross the checkpoint, keep all of their speed, and go for a transfer checkpoint cross right here, then land on this ramp right here, continue to uh, continue at speed, and do a little bit of a transfer jump right here to land onto the jump, onto the bumper, onto the Zeppelin, sorry, and get down onto that ramp to cross the start-finish line. This is going to be one of those um, identities that is feared by most people. Other few things to note, uh, in terms of uh, lap pace, we're working at around the 123 to 124 mark in terms of average lap times. There's also a specific jump uh, that we're going to see Tween do. In term, uh, that you need a specific speed and a specific line to clear. It's just going to be this one right here to skip the freewheel. 335 kilometers an hour is necessary and to be on the left side of the road in order to get slightly a little bit of air time, just enough to clear the gap between the two road sections and make it through. Now as we're going to get into the identity, we're going to go through the first Zeppelin jump. And you're going to see that people will try to seek to get as much speed as possible and there, there's going to be a little bit of a bubble and we're going to be seeing on the road as we're spectating between right now and you're going to see the checkpoint cross in this bubble right there people will go outside of it and go full speed around it and go to the left right side of the road jump the zeppelin land on it and then right time the landing so that they can actually get to this particular transfer uh, section and this is yeah this is what i'm talking about this is really the killer right here and we're going to be specking Riolu, who manages to get through it. Then there's a second jump right here to get back onto the blimp. And then head over onto this particular ramp and cross the start-finish line. So, could this be the undoing of Tween? We are not sure. Let's actually see how everything unfolds on map number 5. The point, guillotine. Zeppelin by Firestorm and Nadeo. So, Tween currently... In the good group, not having made a single mistake at the start, which would have been pretty embarrassing. So far, so good for our man from uh, Slovakia. Revolution emerging a little bit in the lead with Scrappy, Riolu, and Coco. Meanwhile, we see uh, we see two big point scorers actually having failed. Massa has made a made a mistake. Uh, he gets a, gets a, the overtake on Matt as Matt has made a mistake as well, but he's currently 1.4 seconds down on top 8. That's not looking good for the German driver. Currently, Tween sitting in the right group of the top 5 right here. And he manages to emerge into the lead. After this particular dirt jump, which is really unforeseen. He's more, and Tween is more of a tech, a tech expert than anything else. Even though there's more and more tech in each map, uh, map according to the drivers, it's still really really much anybody's game at this point. Papu currently sitting in P5, the current points leader in this step, with 68 points currently sitting in 5th place, 2 tens behind the group back right here, where Tween leads the way. Let's actually see the first Zeppelin jump. If anyone fails, ooh, Tween going with the wrist safe line right here, and they're gonna go into the transfer jump. Who gets it perfectly? Yeah, we're gonna get some pretty good jumps, and Scrappy has been forced to respawn, and that could be the 37 points gone for him. Let's actually see on Tween how he makes it through, and he's gonna be able to do great, and scores the 4th place after lap number one. Coco in the lead. Kappa second. Papu third. Tweed fourth. Brent fifth. Rio loose sixth. Spam seventh. And Orel number eighth. Coco with the fastest up of the race after lap one with a 128.10.103. And uh, let's actually see some of the big point scores. Masai is clawing his back up the order after an early mistake on lap one. Currently half a second behind Pack, who's currently the last driver in the top eight securing position. Then we got Scrappy down in 12th place, six seconds down on the order. And we got Revolution in 14th place, nine seconds down on the leader, which is currently our man Tween. 
tween. Go tween. Go tween in chat. Let's actually let me actually uh, spam this. There we go. Go tween in chat. Don't uh, don't forget to spam it to actually show your support for the driver. Currently driving a 128.422 after lap number one, and yeah, currently leading the race from Papu. Papu currently sitting in second place with uh ten with a uh, one tenth of a second of a gap between him and the leader. Kappa just behind in hot pursuit. The beta league season champ, uh, the beta season champion, is uh, looking to for an upturn in form after having lost all of his points in uh, the previous map. Currently sitting on three points only. Papu, of course, the step leader with 68 points. Not that much big point scores actually in the in the bottom eight so far after lap number one. We'll see how things unfold as the laps continue to pile on. And oh, actually, the, you see, this is one of those. This is one of those particular sections that is really especially tricky, which really, which really reminds of the Zerator style maps that we see in the Zerator Trackmania Cup and other servers on Trackmania. Papu has regained the lead slightly from uh, from Tween, who has managed to snatch it away back uh, once again, and Papu gets the fastest up of the race with a 123.730. Meanwhile, let's actually see further downfield. Massa has managed to gate back into the top ten and secure, and he's potentially in for securing these. 33 points, and there's pretty a pretty safe buffer between him and Pac. 1.6 seconds between the German and the British driver, and then there's another second between Pac and Roland. So, yeah, it's looking pretty safe so far for the for the um, uh, German driver. Yes, I said the Z word. I know this is a bit blasphemous for some people, but I he can't deny that he has had the had a pretty good influence on Trackmania and has brought people back into the game. Thus, uh, in uh, which has a cascading effect of enabling those competitions to actually happen. So yeah, you might you might give him a bit of flack, but come on, get some respect for the man. Get some respect on his name. Anyways, Tween currently comfortably in the lead, eight tenths of a second in front of Papu. Let's actually see if he gets the identity pretty good. Yeah, he manages to get it pretty good. Let's actually check in on him a little bit as he gets through the second Zemplet jump, 260 kilometers an hour of clearance in order to land the wheels. Onto this side of the jump, and get it sufficiently high so that you don't fall to the ground. And he's going to cross the line in first place and gets the fastest lap to boot with the 123.713 to his credit. Currently driving a 123.743 on average. Meanwhile, Papu is a 124.3. So yeah, six tenths of a second slower uh, on average than um, than Tween. But it seems as though uh, he may have made a mistake in the last lap. Tween, as you can see, 123.713, the fastest lap of the race so far. Massa just short behind and it's actually six tenths of a gap between Tween and and uh, Masa, but it seems as though Tween has made a mistake. He's going to be able to clear the wall ride, but he's not going to have enough speed for the jump. Oh, he does. He has made a mistake. He dropped a lot of speed through there. He must have clipped the wall or something and dropped down from third to fourth place. He's still remaining in the right group, though. He's still remaining in that lead group, which is tied up by seven tenths. He's not going to be in that bad, uh, bottom group, and there's actually pretty uh, plenty of a gap between Tween and Masa. 2.3 seconds between the two drivers, and then Masa is one second in front of Orel in sixth place. And yeah, it seems as though the points are looking pretty safe so far for our man. And he remains in the right group. His next target in sight will be Ryu, the Nord Event DMB player who has made a bit of a wide line here. And that's going to allow Tween to overtake him back into third place. Meanwhile, Papu leads from Spam, two, uh, two tenths of a second between the two. As Spam, we're going to check in on the Dutch driver, gets overtaken by Papu here. No, actually, Papu has done a bit of a dodgy landing on the Zeppelin, and he's going to get overtaken by Spam on the line right here. Meanwhile, Tween remains in third place, although the two have pulled away. He manages to get oh, by Riolu, who made a mistake, and Riolu is now six tenths, six seconds dined on, down on the lead on the top eight place, and that's going to be 32 points down the drain for the German driver, which is such a shame for currently the second man in the standings. Brand with the fastest lap of the race so far with the 123.5. 3-9 as Frenchman stealing the fastest step on another Frenchman. That's something you don't see every day. Meanwhile, Papu and Spam battling it out for the lead. One-tenth of a second of a gap between the two drivers. They're really duking it out here. And Papu has got a worse line than Spam. And it's going to allow the Dutch driver to get back into the lead now. Meanwhile, Tween is still playing the patience game. Waiting to see who will actually make the mistake. That could potentially allow him to reap the benefits and score two extra points. Or potentially eight extra points if he manages to get back into the lead. Masa, meanwhile, in fourth place, pretty far behind the uh, drivers, but still far ahead of ahead of Aurel, so he's currently not really looking too worried at the moment in terms of point scoring. And Tween has actually made the junction. Tween has made the junction to the top two fight, and Spam will fail it, and Spam is going to respawn, and that's going to deny him the scoring, and 
he will lose all of this 43 points that he gained. And Tween has taken the lead over from Papu. He's currently battling with him. Let's actually see the second Zeppelin jump. Tween going for the safe strat, and that's going to allow Papu to go a little bit faster than him with the aggressive strat and cross the start line in the lead on the final lap of the race. Papu first, Tween second, Brand third, Arel fourth, Kappa fifth, Pack sixth, Massa seventh. Oh, Massa having failed here, and he's going to be forced to respawn. And that could potentially be the cue that other people needed. Mats getting getting by Massa. And that could potentially see Scrappy also. Yeah, Massa is in real danger here. Meanwhile, Tween currently sitting in second place. Two tens behind Papu. As they get through the wall for the final time. And get through the jump for the final time. More than enough speed to clear the jump. Tween the fastest man on track so far with a 123.846. And currently looking potentially to battle for the lead and the map win. His first map win of the night as Papu goes for the wall bank on the outside of the turn. Safeguarding a little bit of, bit of speed and allowing him to gain a little bit of speed and a little bit of time compared to Tween. Three tenths of a second between the two drivers. Brand currently four seconds down on the two leaders. A staggering gap. Meanwhile, Masai is currently battling it out with Mats and Scrappy to keep his 33 points. Scrappy could be set to lose his 37 points. Real with 32. Spam 43 points. It would be the biggest loser in this game. And let's actually see Tween for the final time through the identity. Let's see how he does. Papa with the lower line, able to get a little bit more momentum than him. Through the final identity. Ooh, and that's going to be the securing of the second place here. Papu first, Tween second place. Brand will cross the line in third place. Armel will cross the line in fourth. Kappa fifth. Then we're going to see Pack going through the identity one final time to cross the line in sixth position. Then we're going to see Masa. Oh, Masa has forced to respawn. And he's going to be dropping down the order. And that's going to be it for the German driver. Scrappy crosses in P7. Matt in P8. And Riolu P9. Masa P10. 32. For actually, spamming P10. Masa 11th. Coco will get through the identity and cross the final... The... Cross the finish line in 12th place. Revolution in 13th place. And we have our first retirement to, to actually report. And that is of Roland. In the end, we saw the big points being dropped by many, many players. Riolu, 32 points lost. Spam, 43 points lost. Massa, 30, no, 43 points lost. Massa, 33 points lost. Revolution, 24 points lost. And that's going to shift the order completely around. Meanwhile, Papu will remain in the lead with 88 points. Second place for, Pap for uh, Tween with 60 points. Then we're going to see another man in third place. Let's actually see. Okay, 44 uh, four points yields third place for Scrappy. RL moves up to 4th place with 37 points, Brand 5th with 16 points, Pack 5th and 6th with 13 points, Kappa 7th uh, with 12 points, and Matt climbs into the top 8 with 11 as we're going to be landing into the final lap and final map of step number 5, which is going to be Starcase. Hope you guys are enjoying the cast as much as I do. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a blast. Um... Having a blast uh, doing it. Uh, we did resolve in the end the uh, frame drop issues. I ho hope you guys are having a smooth experience. And uh, yeah, Papu popping off. Yeah, Papu having the time of his life. Currently winning map after map. He is racking in those euros right now. Because remember, the player who wins the map actually wins a thousand, wins a hundred euros into the bank. So yeah, pretty good payday, right? So. Starcase, the final map of step number five, the final map of step number five by Firestorm. In terms of average lap pace, we can expect around the 123 to 124, um, 124 mark to be attained in terms of, um, in terms of average lap pace. And yeah, Papu with a staggering 90 points to his account. I was wrong. He actually got the points for status lap. Yeah, so that's 90 points for him. He could be set to actually have the highest points score ever. In uh, the track meeting Grand League, if he manages to win this particular map with 110 or 112 points, actually possible if he manages to clinch the fastest lap. Meanwhile, our man is looking good. Now it's going to be all about being all cool, calm, and collected and securing those 60 points that could actually be the springboard he needed to actually launch himself into the top eight and secure and be one step closer to securing a spot in the playoffs at the Lyon Esports for the track meeting Grand League. As we're going to be going through the identity. Uh, for a time. So you can see there's going to be a little bit of downhill. 260 uh, kilometers an hour is the initi in initial speed for the jump. And we're going to get this jump right here. 320 kilometers an hour, then slow down, touch the curb, and then this identity. You can see people will actually jump the will actually jump the boosters, and that could potentially be one of the downfalls of some of the players who have not gotten the, the, the technique down. So yeah, there's going to be three sets of use turns where it can actually go for two boosters, and 
one of the riskiest strats would be to land on the back wheels to actually have the car rotate a little bit, per bit, bit uh, faster when you actually get a grass slide. Anyways, map 6 underway and we're checking in with our man Tween for the start of the final map of step number 5. And it seems as though the group remains the same. All grouped up nice and easy. And we're going to see that the CP dirt jump is going to have to be cleared at a certain speed of around over 200 kilometers an hour. There he goes. Pretty much per picture perfect for Tween who actually gets an early jump on the field and emerges in the lead in front of Riolu and Revolution. But actually Tween has a much worse line that boosts through players and much more and gets dragged down to P5. But he remains in that really... And that good group right here. Meanwhile, the group still remaining fairly packed in the top eight. Um, we see Riolu, Revolution, Papu, Orel, Masa, Tween, Kappa, and Coco currently battling it out. Masa and Tween battling it out for P6 right now as we go, go for the loop for the first time. Oh, it seems as though we have seen Coco make a mistake and other people make mistakes as well. So that's going to benefit Tween very much as he moves up to P6. And it was Coco who made a mistake, it seems, that, it seems like. Onto the jump, 270 kilometers an hour of the landing speed. There you go. And then we're going to go into the identity for the final time. Let's see if Tween manages to save. He manages to regularly get the identity right in order to keep up with the competition. First landing. Whoa, that's a bit dodgy. Second landing, and that's going to... Oh, and actually he gets it just about. He will still be able to... He will still drop a quite a few places though, but remain in the right group. And so, that's going to be the really, really tight, tricky part of this particular map. Riolu with the fastest up of the race so far with a 125.714. Currently sitting in third place, Masa in the lead, Orwell in second, Kappa fourth. Then we got Papu fifth, Bren sixth, Tween in seventh place. And then we got Scrappy in eighth, battling it out with Spam as well. Bren and Tween battling it out for the points paying position in the last point safeguarding positions. Currently sitting in sixth place, but Scrappy coming in hot with the speed and overtakes Tween for in Queen demoted to P8 even as Bren overtakes him and hello hello who here comes spam he could potentially deny him the score of his 60 points that's not really what we want to see right now come on tween you can do it you can make it you can save those 60 points i believe in you man go tween go tween and chance show him your support we got five hearts as you can see on the um, on the right hand corner of your screen please send him your support give him your energy Tween currently sitting in top 8, 2 seconds down on the leader. We're currently following him as he trails the little train right here for the lead. Masa, Orel, and Riolu, your top 3 so far. Kappa 4th, Papu in 5th place. Scrappy having less speed than Bren. Bren could potentially take advantage of that. As we go into the identity for the second time. Ooh, pack emerging a little bit uh, closer to Frankfurt. And we get the first landing perfect. Second landing perfect. And that could potentially get the regain of form that Tween just needed. He just overtook Bran for 7th place. And that could potentially set him on the good mindset if he manages to get that identity right there. Aurel with the fastest up of the race so far with 124.015. Aurel in the lead. 6 tenths of a second between him and Masa. Riolu in 3rd place. And sorry for the rather chauvinism, the nationalism kind of thing. But allez Aurel, allez Aurel, on veut une victoire française. Allez. But back to the cast. We're going to go with Tween right now. As he currently sitting in 5th place. Come on, go Tween. 5th place for Tween currently. 1.8 seconds behind the leader. Then we're going to go with Papu. Who's currently sitting half a second behind Tween in 6th place. Papu with 90 points. Tween with 60 points. Those could be the biggest point losers if anything were to happen to them. Tween currently chomping up the bit on Kappa. Looking to, looking to force him to make a mistake. Looking for that little weakness. Looking for that little weakness that the player could have. Less speed from Kappa, and that's going to allow Tween to make the junction and potentially overtake him for P4 before the jump. Before the CP, he manages to get him. We're going to be spectating. We're going to be seeing Masa from the perspective of Tween. We're going to be seeing uh, how Masa fares in, from the perspective of Tween. Masa currently sitting in third place, three tenths down on the leader only, as Kappa comes in in hot with the speed. And it seems as though Masa has got the identity pretty much perfectly here. Masa... Masa really getting well. Oh, Tween with a really scary identity here. He manages to cross the finish line. It's still in fourth place. But then here come the lads. Here come Papu and Bren. He's forced to respawn. No, that's not what we want to see right now. Matt's overtaking Tween. He's down to P9 with four, with three laps to go. Patriotism. Thank you, July Onishua. Masa with the fastest, Masa with the fastest man on track so far with 124.4. Matt in eighth place, but currently you can see that Tween has managed to get the junction back on him. So he could potentially still score those eight points. Yeah, really sorry for the for the patriotism here, but I'm I'm so happy to see that one of those the French players is actually 
in front when we didn't have that you know, that luxury with Carl Jr. Unfortunately, I um, know that's maybe a little bit of BM, but I don't intend it to, it to be, of course. So yeah, that would be fun if we could actually have a uh, map win by a fr uh, actually have a um, another step win by a Frenchman. But anyways, focusing now on Tween, 60 points, uh, 60 points still. Currently sitting in that butter zone of eighth place. Matt, eight tenths of a second behind him. Matt could still play the troublemakers with our man and deny him the scoring of these 60 points and potentially deny him a spot in the Grand Finals. Matt seems to be looking fairly looking fairly at his ease right now, despite not being in the right butter zone right now, in the right scoring zone. As we're going to see Tween again for the identity for map 4 out of 6. First jump perfectly received. Second jump, a little bit scarier, and Matt is going to overtake him. The third jump is much better negotiated, and let's see this jump right perfect. So, Matt is still in it. Matt has overtaken him in eighth place, but Tween is still in it. Tween is still in it. We got two laps to go. It's going to be all down to the last identity on the last lap. Tween must not make a single mistake and allow Matt to go through yet again. He's going to have to over make short work of the Brazilian, though, in order to be able to retain those 60 points. Let's actually check in back on the leaders. RL still in first place. Two seconds of a gap now between him and Massa. RL having pulled the big boy gap. Kapu third place, Kappa in fourth place. Kappa has made a mistake, uh, allowing him to be overtaken by Papu. Bren in fifth place, Spam sixth, Scrappy seventh, Mats eighth, and then we got Tween eight tenths of a second further down. Go get him, Tween, go get him. Let's actually see if he manages to catch the Brazilian here. Tense times indeed, tense times on this final map of step number five. Meanwhile, the leader's race is going pretty much as intended. It's so far, RL going to the identity yet again. With a pretty pretty safe approach to it. Oh, and actually, as I say that, he's going to have to go for the safe route because he cannot make the jump and still crosses the line in the lead. Meanwhile, Tween going to the identity again. Let's see if he manages to get it. Yes, he manages to get that. And Matt is forced to respawn. And that's going to allow Tween back up to 8th place on the final lap. This could be it, folks. This is it. One second of a gap between Matt and Tween. Let's see how everything fares. Matt with the fastest lap of the race so far with 123.415. So in his, so in his, um, in his sadness, if he managed, to, if he doesn't manage to get it overtaken by Tween, to get Tween, he could be in for the two points of the fastest lap, which could make him score seven points at the end of this step. But meanwhile, our attention's on Tween, our man. 1.4 seconds in front of Matt at the start of the final lap. This could be the step to kick things off and to secure himself a spot in the Lyon Esport playoffs. We're going to be with him for the full final lap. I'm not... I don't really want to say anything. I don't want to give any caster's curse or anything. This is really, really nail-biting finale. As we're going to go into the final section of the... Into the final section of the track. Brent currently sitting in 7th place. RL still comfortably in the lead. 1.4 seconds in front of Papu. Ooh, and actually Scrappy dropping down. Scrappy has, uh, he has made a mistake, but we're not going to focus on him. We're going to be focusing on our man, who's going to go through the identity for the final time. The one that cost him so much on lap number three. Let's see. First jump, done. Second jump, it must be absolutely perfect. It is perfect. And he's going to cross the finalist line, and that's going to be it. Tween secures this step. That is absolutely stunning performance from the Slovak driver. Over 60 points collected this time around. Such a relief, and Pac, meanwhile, getting the fastest up of the race with 123.224. This has been a stunning one, and meanwhile, Papa will get the overall step win with 104 points. Joint highest score in the Open Grand League and Trackmania Grand League history for a single step. Whew! Let me catch my breath and collect my thoughts here. That was such a good round. Such a good... Good one. And Massa has failed as well. Well, he didn't really lose much points. He currently had the four-point score. But anyways, Papu will be your step winner with nine with 104 points. In second place, we will find our man Tween with 67 points. Yes! Aurel, third place with 57. Or, uh, Scrappy, fourth with 53. Kappa and Tween, uh, Kappa and Bren, fifth and sixth on equal 24 points. Matt, seventh with 17 points. And Spam, 8th with 15 points, Pack 9th with 7 points, and Masa completes the top 10 with 5. 
just a gigantic wow. Let me catch my breath. So, here is the league ranking after step number 5. Papu will take the lead as predicted with 246 points to his credit. Cole Jr. bumps down to 2nd place because of, because of the lack of playtime. And uh, with 193 points to his, to his credit. Really not able to score many points. He uh, still he bumps down to 3rd place as a result with 159 points. Scrappy, 4th place for him with 143 points. And the bump up we've, we've come to see from 8th to 5th is Tween with 129 points. 6th place for RL. In uh, with 124, Kappa seventh with 115, and Spam completely com currently completes the top eight with 80 with 91 points. He's currently 10 points away from Bren in 10 points in front of Bren with uh, currently sitting in ninth with 81 points. So there could still be all to play for here for the final step. Whew. All right, all right, <laughs> man. What a step! What. A day this has been. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to actually uh, to actually see Tween. Uh -huh. Well, hold on. Hold on, I'm opening up my Discord. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually get a word from the man himself. Yo, Tween. Hello, hello. Oh Hi. man, you you gave dreams to absolutely everybody. Finally, the <laughs> one to kick off your your chase for a top eight spot and a spot in Lyon. How was, was it from so your perspective? Happy. It was really just a wild ride, honestly. Um, there are some maps that I was uh, very confident on, and uh, I I think you could see it. Like I was very close to being first there on some maps, and uh that's a really big loss to to be second and not first because of the points and the the cash price so all i was telling myself was to like just just keep the points going you know that's the important thing yeah fair enough and uh that's what i focused on yeah fair, fair enough for you i mean there were a couple standout maps for me for the for, for my, me the first one was um contest diving where you actually just snatched the fastest up of the race always going for those risky gas lights I was always fearing for you when you go right to the edge of the curb on the outside, almost dropping down on the water. That was one of those moments that gave me a heart attack. And also, of course, map six, uh, we've seen uh, on Starcase, the identity that could have cost you so much, but actually causing you to respawn at the end of lap three, if I'm not mistaken. That was such a nerve-wracking moment, that final map, though. Well, as for uh, contest diving, you can see clearly that people are more willing to risk uh, so uh, compared to last step because it's not that costly to, uh, you know, like maybe you get five points instead of 12, you know? So people just, just go for it. And uh, at least we could like showcase the map at its full potential. And uh, as for Starcase, well, <laughs> what can I say there? Like when I, when I hit the intro button, uh, I think it was, I'm happy with the way I did it because uh, I could have tried maybe to do something and that would have not ended well. So, uh, I'm glad I hit, hit the respawn button pretty pretty fast, and uh, that's when I saw that I'm ninth, and uh, that's when the fun began, I guess. Yeah, this is when the buck clenching start, I would imagine. Going back to do, to um, actually um, contest diving, uh, you were one of the ones that actually went for the safer strat of actually staying, keeping your four wheels on the grass and go for the long way around. I, I think we have seen quite a few people actually go for the... Um, for the curve clip on the inside to go for the back wheel grass slide, which will take the car faster. Would you think that uh, is a technique that you would have been able to pull off, or was it a little bit too risky for you? The way I see it, uh, if you can make it safe, then make it safe, but you can miss it slightly, and that's when you hope that you're going to get the back wheel slide and actually be even faster, but it's, it's not really match-worthy, I'd say. Okay, well, step five done. One more to go. Uh, how is going to be your approach to this one? We're not. Yeah, I don't think we have seen the map six. Um, I don't think we have. I haven't had the time to play the step six maps yet. Um, what is going to be your take on that one? Uh, well, I haven't played the maps either because 
it's it, it, they get released to us on Saturdays, and uh, that's not the good time to start thinking about something else. Fair enough. So uh, I I have only seen them, and uh, honestly, they look really difficult and uh, not not really uh, fitting for me. So I'm really happy to have uh, really taken it pretty much home at this point. Like um, I I. I think I'm very much in it. Like it, it will, it will be a very, uh, very big, big thing would have to happen for me not to make the playoffs now. Like, but I'm not. I'll, I'll try not to jinx myself. You know. Yeah, I know the self jinx um, could be pretty strong here. <laughs> there was also this last step that I lost uh, points on the last map, and uh, because there's going to be the, the worst step is going to be. Uh, uh, like taken away from the points, you, you know. So if you don't play a step, then oh like, yeah, you, get oh, you do have a joker. Okay, yeah. you do have a joker. So you're if, uh, the worst step is yeah. detected from your total points now. Like, yeah. Okay, I get it. So yeah, yeah so, so, become... I'm, so I'm happy I messed up. Yeah, one, yeah. So, so that... that kind of becomes that that last step kind of becomes your get out of jail free card in some way because you can just be safe. Oh, you can be just like okay, I just did my four my my five steps. I done my score. I don't really need to play the last step, even though, uh, and uh, that's pretty much fine by me because it's the hardest maps that I don't really feel too confident on. Well, I'm definitely going to play. There's nothing to lose. <laughs> no, I mean this, and, that, um... that could be a potential. That could be a potential for other players. I mean, uh, of course, no, you know, realistically, nobody is ever gonna try to skip a step just because they played the required amount of uh, of steps in order to warrant that skip. But uh, yeah, that could have been a potential. But uh, I'm glad. Uh, congratulations on your uh, 67 point score, and uh, <laughs> Thank yeah. You. Looking forward to potentially see you in Lyon at the end of the month. Yeah, that would be really great. I can't wait, honestly. Yeah, we, I can't wait either for the playoffs. Anyways, have a good time, man. I'm not going to uh, take you for too much longer. Congratulations it's yet okay. again for, for, this, uh, for this finish. Thank you very much, and I hope you had a fun stream. And uh, I'm going to rewatch the VOD because I... I had a lot of fun casting it. I had a real, I had a ton yeah. of fun casting it. I had a, a bit of breathless moments at a few points, but yeah, it was a good fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, have a good See morning. Around. See ya. Alrighty then. So, step five done. Five steps in the league done. There's not over yet. There's going to be one more step that we're going to have to witness. And that's going to happen next week on this very channel. I might not be here casting it. That might be up to Garrett, uh, Rambro, and, uh, and Steven Zappas, aka Zapman. But uh, yeah, step number six on February the 9th at 8 o'clock CET or 2 p.m. CET for you Americans out there. Make sure to be there, twitch.tv slash nights for the final qualifying step of the Trackmania Grand League Winter 2020 season. Anyways, I wanted to end with a little bit of a tradition on my streams. Um, I usually end with a pretty particular, with a particular song. A particular song that some people who have watched my streams will recognize. So, this is it, Home Before the Night. Thank you very much for tuning in for the cast of Step 5 of the Trackmania Grand Lake for the Pittsburgh Knights casting for Tween, who came out so great, 67 points bagged in, and yeah, I would like to thank a bunch of people here. I would like to thank the Pittsburgh Knights for allowing me to cast this step. I would like to thank their sponsors, Sheets, Small Direct Club, and HyperX. Uh, I would also like to so, thank a few people here, so Garrett Bamber for giving me the opportunity. I would also like to thank, um, who is it? Yeah, uh, Kate and Marco, who actually helped me hook me up with the um, with the stream setup in here. And I would like to thank two further people. First of all, Virtual for notifying me of the opportunity to actually cast this thing. And another one, Eric Holdahl, who has been one of the uh, most well-being uh, people on Earth, and he has been never uh, ceased in believing in me. So I would like to thank all these people so much for making this happen, and you for watching. You are incredible. Anyways, that's all for me. I'm going to be taking it offline right now, taking my scene. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And for those of you on my stream, again, I will see you all next time. Godspeed, people!